Hey, you four. We're going to read Sam Wu is Not Afraid of Ghosts this week, which is a new book. Uh, it's part of the Year 4 bucket list. Um, it's written by Kevin, Katie and Kevin Sang, who are a married couple who write the series together. Um, and I think this is really sweet because this book is dedicated to their parents. So we're going to read Chapter 1, obviously, as it's the final week. Can you believe it? Um, but we'll then leave it open so you guys can either find the book online or maybe get into it next year when you come back to school. So, Chapter 1. Don't call me Scaredy Cat Sam. My name is Sam Wu, and I am not afraid of ghosts. I know this for a fact because I recently had to become a genuine, certified ghost hunter. The certification came from my friend Zoe, but that's not important. Some people might try to tell you otherwise, but those people are liars. Do not listen to them. Especially do not listen to them if their name is Ralph Philip Zinkerman III. Ralph will tell you that I am Scaredy Cat Sam. For the record, I am not a scaredy cat. If I were a cat, I'd be like my little sister Lucy's cat, Butterbutt. But do not be fooled by the name. Butterbutt is an evil ninja. My word. Even my nana, that's my grandma, she lives with us, is scared of Butterbutt. And she is so brave that one time she wrestled an alligator. When I tried to explain to Ralph that A, I'm not a scaredy cat, and B, scaredy cat doesn't even make sense as an insult, he just laughed at me and said I was probably scared of cats too, which obviously isn't true. He's never met Butterbutt. I bet he'd be scared of Butterbutt. I mean, seriously, look at him. <sighs> he is quite scary, to be fair. You're probably wondering why Ralph calls me Scaredy Cat Sam. Now, listen closely, because I'm only going to tell this story once, okay? I don't even let my best friend Zoe and Bernard talk about it, and we talk about everything but even they know not to ever mention it. It isn't a laughing matter, no matter what some people might tell you. This event must never be spoken of ever again. Are you listening? Okay, good. It should have been the best day of the year. It was the day of the class field trip to the Space Museum. It was all I had thought about for months. You see, the Space Museum had a real spaceship in it. The only spaceship I'd ever seen was on my favorite TV show, Space Blasters. I was so excited, I even wore my special spaceman gear, which was carefully crafted by Space Blasters number one fan, i.e. me. Unfortunately, space gear is expensive, so I had to be resourceful and make my own even better space equipment. All it took was a bike helmet, some cling film and a few flashlights, because it's dark in space. I even made a custom Space Blasters shirt with some felt tip markers. I thought it was going to be a perfect day. I was wrong. It all started when I got to the bus, to the museum. I sat down next to Zoe and Bernard, proudly wearing my Space Blasters t-shirt and specifically crafted space helmet. Sam, said Bernard, blinking at me. What exactly are you wearing? He was holding a lightsaber and wearing a Star Wars t-shirt, a fancy one, not one that he had made himself. Yeah, said Zoe, frowning at my t-shirt. What's a Space Blaster? This was not the reaction I was expecting. Oh, I said as I pointed at my t-shirt. Well, this is Spaceman Jack and this is Captain Jane. Or at least it was supposed to be, because drawing is not one of my talents. My friend stared at me blankly. Spaceman and Captain Jane, said Bernard. Hmm. Should have drawn Five-Eyed Frank, huh? He's probably more recognisable. Five-Eyed Frank? What are you talking about? said Zoe. I looked around the bus and realised that nobody had any kind of Space Blasters gear on. I didn't get it. Space Blasters is the best show in the universe and beyond. You know, Space Blasters? Their expressions told me that they did not know about Space Blasters. It's all about Captain Jane and Spaceman's Jack adventures with their alien friend, Five-Eyed Frank. They travel on tubs, which stands for the universe's best spacecraft, and blast through wormholes to other galaxies to fight bad guys. It's the best. So, it's like a less cool Star Wars, said Bernard. No, I scoffed. It's way cooler. I actually wasn't totally sure. I'd never seen Star Wars. Zoe and Bernard were still looking at me like they didn't believe Space Blasters was the best show in the universe. You'll understand when you watch, I said. All right, Zoe said, and Bernard nodded. And then we were at the Space Museum. And that then, that is where it really went wrong. Chapter two is called The Unfortunate Event That Will Never Be Mentioned Again. But sadly, if you want to find out what happens, you're going to have to get the book. <gasps> See you later.